As the 1970s continued, so did Maryland's near misses. Lefties Terps always had talented players like Albert King and Buck Williams, but they kept falling short of winning the ACC Tournament Championship. In 1983, that would change with the arrival of Len Bias. My senior year, Lenny used to come over as a skinny, raggedy kid from right around College Park, Northwestern High School, and he'd wait for an opportunity. If we had nine guys and we needed one, he'd play. You could tell that he was going to be a good player, but was not a great player. The recruiting gurus didn't rate Lenny Bias as a top 10 or 20, but you could tell Lenny had some incredible abilities, and Lefty would always snicker. Lefty knew he was getting somebody exceptional. He came to College Park as a real diamond in the rough. I love to jump. That's some of my games, is jumping and dunking. I love to dunk. That's something I did ever since I was in junior high school. At first, he had a hard time fitting into Lefty's system, and Lenny bristled at first and complained about trying to get onto the court. We both would sit on the bench, and we would kind of ponder where we're going to transfer to. I know Lenny had mentioned that NC State, Coach Bob Bono, was interested in him and had been talking to him, but uh, we never left. <laughs> When he came back his sophomore year, there was a huge difference. He really began to train his body. He started to get cut. He started to have muscles that weren't there before, and he started to really look good. You've seen photographs of him. He was big, wide shoulders, narrow hips, huge arms. He was probably, at that point, the most magnificent physical specimen I had ever seen in my life. He would dominate my practices so much I have to take him out and said, Linda, sit down. You know, we can't score on you and we can't stop you, so just sit down. And I know because I was on the second team and we couldn't stop him. He was that good. He was, you know, a pretty affable young man, very easy going, but on the court, he was a demon. He came down the tunnel, he would slap the hands of the people who had their hands up, but he was like a volcano ready to erupt. He wanted to annihilate the opponents. That's just the way he was. That's the way he approached the game. He wanted to kill people. He was the guy that could do it all. I mean, he had the great jump shot. Len Bias makes He does shot. not miss that shot. He could put it on the floor. He could defend. One of the best shot blockers in the country. He just got better and better every year until he became the best player in college basketball. Bias with a big He was really a bigger, stronger, more uh, advanced version of Michael Jordan. So much so that in Maryland, no one wanted to be like Mike. They wanted to be biased. I was biased. My friends were biased. We were all biased. We were all a little bit biased. I think he's the best player in the country because I'm a little biased. We were all biased. There's only been a few players in the history of the game that are great leapers who also have a soft touch. David Thompson certainly would be one of those. Julius Irving would be one of those. Michael Jordan was one of those. And Lenny certainly had that. Celtics select Len Bias of the University of Maryland. There he is, Len Bias. Len was sitting by his mother. She is here with him. Len Bias he had a great career at Maryland. Many people think he may be the best athlete. Well, Len, you said that you really wanted to go to Boston in the draft. You've gotten your wish. Why did you want to go there? Well, they're a good team, and they got a good uh, supporting players. I can go up there and sit on the bench, or whether going to play or not, and I learn a lot from uh, the players there, or learn a lot from playing myself. So you feel that you will be able to accept the role of being a, a bench warmer for a while? <laughs> I guess so. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> now you said that you have not, no, come nowhere near your full potential. Just what do you think your potential is? Well, I think I need to improve more on my ball handling and my all-around play. But I think vastly I need to improve on my ball handling and just keep working on my game. To find out more about that, let's go up to Red Auerbach now in Boston. <laughs> Well, just how much money, Red Auerbach? Well, I don't know. They got a lot of comics out there. I, I'll tell you, this is a great kid. He's the guy we wanted. We got him. Well, a lot of people are asking the question, how do you improve the best team in basketball? Is Len Bias the answer to that? <laughs> well, he gives us a lot of support. He can play some guard. He can play some forward. He can play a power forward, a quick forward. He is the best athlete, in my opinion, in the whole draft. And he's going to really help this ball club. He knows that. He knows that. Is Lenny Bias going to uh, take the place of a Kevin McHale or Larry Bird? He knows that. Except in this particular case, he's going to play. 